Hello, my name is Frank Anastasio. You know me on Theory 11 as Owner M. I am going to try an experiment. It's an experiment in something, a new theory called cardiocerebral behavior. I'm going to explain it to you. Then you're going to see some cards in a span of a very short time. And then I'm going to determine which card you're going to see based upon cardiocerebral behavior. Let me explain really quickly what that is, first of all. Cardiocerebral behavior is a new theory about how people make choices based upon these human functions. Pulse, brain waves, and our connections between them. These functions are all interconnected and they're at points of the body. They're at the head, the center of our body, and down towards the stomach, the lower part of the stomach. I'm going to start with the pulse. The rhythmic flow of red blood through our entire bodies, originating from the center of our chest. It acts like a timer, a spacer, and a clock to our own psyche. This gives us the ability to set our own rhythm, thereby giving us a number of different pathways to a decision. The pulse is the warm internal timer of our decision, the clock of our decisions, the rhythm of our decisions. And with those things together, gives us some deep feeling, a warm, completeness sensation. The other thing about the pulse is it's steady throughout the head, the center of our body, center of our chest, and the lower stomach. It's just a straight line. Now the next part of cardiocerebral behavior is brain waves. Brain waves are an electrical force that our minds produce. They give off electricity, they give off energy, and they give off feelings. This feeling, this energy, this electricity transmits throughout our bodies, which affects our decisions. All this energy, all this electricity, all this emotion brings me to the last item which is the connections between the pulse and the brain waves. The connection is the pulse, the heartbeat, connecting to the brain waves. These items produce our decision making and they're all part of the same thing. And if you affect one of those things, the others will be affected and change your decision. For instance, I'm gonna put some random cards up on the screen at a high rate of speed. That will change your energy, your brain waves, that will change your pulse, and that will change the connection. And it will give you a warm feeling because all parts of the cardiocerebral behavior is going to come into play. Think about what I said about pulse, about brain waves and the connection between them, about how you feel that in your mind, in the center of your chest, and down into your lower body. Look at those next cards, and one of those cards is just going to become that warm feeling for you. And then I'll reveal what you chose.